Marnie was crying. She felt like she had been crying a lot lately. Let them go! She sobbed uselessly against the masked night soul that was holding onto her from behind. In front of her, her parents had been bound and gagged, but neither of them struggled or cried like she did. They simply glared forward with arched backs, all dignity, no fear. Eyes only softening when they met hers as if to say, We love you and be strong. An Arakar stood behind them, also wearing a mask like their subordinates. She knew who it was. She had been told about them like a monster in a bedtime story. The great hunter, the legion keeper, Rakarna, the maker of shadowlings. She caught their gaze through their mask. They seemed to smile at her. She sobbed harder. Rakarna stepped forward so they were standing in front of her parents, back to turn to her. Their voice was soft as they spoke. I'm sure you are aware. Your crimes against the Mortani are great. You have rejected the darkness, the song, and all things we now stand for. They paused to look at her parents, but neither had changed their expressions as if they were carved of the very same stone as the masks the hunter was wore. As punishment for your crimes, your name shall be stricken from records. All possessions that you've managed to acquire will be divided amongst your home city, and you both will either accept your salvation this final time, or the void will come take you without the ritual's protections. Again, neither moved. Marnie sobbed harder. Live, she pleaded silently. Yet bubbling in her chest, she felt this indescribable emotion. Pride. So while her head wished them to give heart in, in her heart chanted and cheered for their rebellion. Very well. They turned and nodded to one of their subordinates behind Marnie, and slowly she was dragged away. You don't need to see this. They whispered to her. And yet her imagination was much worse than seeing the ritual. Now she only heard the crunching and squelching and hissing as her parents' bodies were broken and remade and their minds thrown away. Shadowlings now. But slowly, her sadness and horror was being replaced by something else. Anger, pride, and righteousness. As her mind solidified on one single goal. Rakarna's head would be hers. She would make them feel the same fear, the same helplessness, the same paranoia as their hunted. Then, she would burn everything they loved to the ground. They deserved it. It's a magical, mystical time. It's anecdotal adventures. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of City of Mist Kingmakers. I'm your master of ceremonies, Ashley. I'm Cassidy. I'll be playing English. I'll be playing Matthias, the Rift of Typhon. Tele, um, and I will be playing Ryan, the Rift of Lamasu. Got it right. I'm Sonia, I will be playing Emma, the Rift of Athena. I'm Juno, I'll be playing Jane, Rift of Hera. I'm Siren, I'll be playing Aaron Frankel, whose Rift is King David. And unfortunately, Selena, who plays Mara Galanis, will not be joining us for this episode. But, where we last left off on Kingmakers, something probably happened in Solaris. We don't care. Uh, we're Team A! Uh, of which, uh, where we last left off, uh, uh, you guys met Sarah, uh, who is... Uh, bleh. My mind is slipping and I can't flip fast enough is Alyssa's uh, chosen uh, for uh, pick as kingmaker uh, and made the unnerving discovery that Catalina had disappeared into thin air. Maybe uh, like as soon as you got to the city, 
but you were too busy to notice. And it's almost been a week. But she's still alive. Maybe. Maybe. We Maybe. don't know. Well, no, because oh. your link is still. That is true. That is true. That is so true. So we think she's alive. Yes, that you do. Oh God, she's smiling. When the GM smiles, we know something is gonna happen. I'm smiles not smiling. and then smiling. starts the ominous music, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but we pick back did. up where we last left off. Uh, Aaron furiously brush, brush, blushing and walking away from a conversation where Matthias finally broke out the flirt machine. Uh, oh yes, that. Hot mess. It, how long after this does this does do all the story continue? It's been like twenty minutes now. Okay, but then like Matthias goes and gets Aaron and like gathers everyone up. Okay. Aaron still I he already did this. A light glow as he's still just slightly just like. <laughs> Every time you glance at him. Uh, Alyssa, who's uh, finally uh, returned with Sarah and Kai in tow. Uh, Sarah now has like a little travel pack with her. Uh, has a uh, now looks uh, has her hood down and now looks like every other uh, dusk on the street. So I done goofed like bad, like I really uh-huh. did a mess up thing. I pretty sure almost positive at this point Catalina didn't leave I think she was taken and unfortunately it's taken us far too long to come to this conclusion and that is solely my responsibility but we still need to find her because she's our she's our friend and we're not gonna leave her alone I'm not sure she would consider us friends. Uh, Sarah will raise, uh, raise an eye up. Do we have any hints? Any, like, clues or such? No. Well, that sucks. Well, we know where she's not. She's not here in this castle. We know that. Have we seen her around? If she was in the streets. She, we know she's not in the cottage where we looked. Um, where's, the, where's the last confirmed location? Like when we oh, entered the city. Uh, is, I think I remember someone mentioning a scry thing. Is, is that a thing here? Oh, scry stones. Right. Yeah. Would that work here? I'm going to turn to Sarah. You're the native? Is that like a thing we can obtain to you? Established that I'm like crappy at using magic. But yeah, there are questions. If you know their full name, you can talk to someone. Mm, Do we know her full name? (laughs) We don't know. Matthias literally squishes his face. Do do Faye have full names? Is that a thing? If I could ask a Faye. I would, but I don't actually have access to Faye. I look directly at Emma. (laughs) What do you want me to do? Um, Ask Faye. Jane is also going to take her crown back uh, from the person that she loaned it to. Which of our Faye's do you think will be the most likely to help us? I love it. Looks at Emma. I don't know. Just you, leave it as an open-ended question and let one of them respond. Okay. Be like, hey, do Faye hey. have like first and last names, or? He keeps talking like we can't hear him talk. You don't need to yeah, repeat the they, question. They can... Typhoon says from behind <laughs> him. <They can laughs> I'd be happy to answer. Them. Like I'm happy to answer. That. Every okay. fan has like a, a name that they tell people and a name that they keep close to the chest. Okay, so every Faye has either. <laughs> so what does, does that it, mean? Like, yeah, would her could first we use Catalina's? Her, like, could we use Catalina's name to find Catalina, or do we not have her full name, which has power, so we wouldn't be able to do that? Uh, 
Good question. Scrying stones weren't like a thing when we were around, so like, truck. Oof. They're not old enough. Hurt to try but we, we can They're try. Too old to have known about scrying stones. We can where try. Do we, where do we get one though? Because if it's going to take like 10 days to get a scrying stone, unless you have a prime membership, like. Your, your friend had one, didn't he? Oh, what was his name? He's gone. Oh. He has stuff he's got to do. We oh, can no. look soon enough while one of us or two of us look um, for the scrying stones. We need to stick in groups of two or larger, I think. And we need to okay, look for- Okay, so everyone partner up. I choose Aaron. <laughs> I'm with Kai and Alyssa. Yeah. What? what? Well, why don't you let Kai be with someone else? You two are kind of like both. Because I'm around Kai. Yeah, Jane. Magic. No, you're going to like be both with me, magic Jane. People. Autumn says since Ryan's with Kai. Oh, okay. Girl time. Damn. But then who would Alyssa? Alyssa's with Kai, right? Yeah. Okay. Just Ryan's good with kids. making sure the children have. Making sure the children are not alone. Wait, is, uh, is Alyssa's Chosen okay. going with them, too? I'd assume so. I don't really know the rest of you that well. Yeah. Which one? Oh, shoot, I don't know the list of... Look, I, I think I can only, like, maybe fly Kai and Alyssa. I'm not sure about you. I haven't really tested my strength that much. But we can try. Mm -hmm. I'm well, all it should be fun. building with that. Matthias looks at him and then does a floor glance and goes, Are you admitting that you're too weak to lift three people? Can you? Yeah. Can you fly with them? No. That's a whole different velocity right there. Anyways. <laughs> Aren't so your wings you're... like metaphysical, <laughs> not physical? Breaks out complicated physics that's, that's notes nice. about flying. Nice. <laughs> like your yeah. wings are physical. Smirks. Are you physically using those muscles? I mean, I would be carrying them. It's not my wings. All right. Them. Maybe this is not the great time for her to try to separate the two because you can read the right on the wall what's about to happen. Yeah, but you just have a list on your shoulders and then you can just oh. kind of like. <laughs> Aaron like I grabs you and turns you. Wait, let's go. Let's start looking in this direction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, wait, 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 wait. Who's, Cass, who's uh, looking for the scrying stones? Mm, Autumn, I think we have a good chance of trying to find that, don't you think? We're pretty persuasive if the two of us combine. Yeah. Okay. No look for Catalina in the streets. Is, is Nina going with Emma or is Nina coming with us? Or, yeah, we can do groups of larger than two because that might also. We don't have a group. I mean, if if you're we're doing uneven groups and not groups of two, uh, then Nina would prefer to go with their friends. Yeah, Nina can come with us. Yeah. Nina's good right. with persuasion. Yeah. So, and then me and Aaron. And I am picturing the, the three mean girls sauntering off in no. the literal mean girl formation. And that's so, the one who gets picked last after everyone's already left. Me and Aaron will I'm retrace our there. steps, and everyone else can look while you guys try and find this grind so. Oh, uh, well, but before me we leave, Matthias, if uh, can you tell us where um, you're gonna head off if this grindstone works, so we can come grab some more people. Uh, how about we all just we're gonna head back to like that, like where we came, where we entered, where the festival started. Okay, cool. Good luck. Felix is gonna. Have we thought about how we're leaving here yet? We need to um, leave with everyone. Yeah, like the. But yeah, we thought about that. Did we think about how? You want to be on team planning, Felix? It's not my strong suit. I was just wondering if we had one. I well, mean, I've think offered it's... wyverns like several times. If we were gonna go to the council thing with them. Oh yeah, the council. And aren't we, like, in a hurry mm -hmm. to skedaddle? We can get teleportation stones, too, while we're at it. 
Do we know how to use those? No, and also, we don't and also, know how to use this flying one. You can't, like, it, it, you can't really get back out that easily. Yeah, because there's like a barrier. But can't you like teleport to the edge of it? Oh no. Oh yes, You're where we were attacked in the ocean by the big snake thing. That's a great idea. Thanks for that, Jane. What other way do we have to get there, Matthias? You I don't know. Boat? Going to get a exactly. boat that was faster than your destroyed raft, or yeah. one of the other methods of transportation, like a wyvern. Adeline is the main priority right now. Yeah, agreed. But if if one of the groups wants to stay behind and plan that and set up arrangements for us to leave, I think that would be a good idea. Emma? We'll all brainstorm while Are we're you, out. Yes. Okay. Break. <laughs> Tyler starts walking away. Jane leaves. Good too. luck, my okay. dude. And we'll start and, and Emma, we, we actually stay with Emma, who doesn't really have a group as people begin to disperse. <laughs> well, time to do stuff by myself. Uh, there are other people around still. Uh, Gabriel and Felix stay behind. You guys want to be in a group together? I mean, we're the only ones left, right? Yes, we do, then. <laughs> but when did when do you last remember seeing Catalina? Did you have you ever seen Catalina? Gabriel shakes his head. He's never seen her. I don't even know what she looks like. Okay. So she's kind of a tiger fae? I Cat don't I've Alina. never seen what a fae looks like, so this might They can shape shift. But she prefers to take the form of like a tiger ish human thing. And she controls metal and stuff, so... How do you it keep someone pretty... trapped in a prison cell that can control metal? It feels very difficult. Stone? Wood? Wood? <laughs> Some other material. Wait, Catalina's toss. <laughs> but I mean... Faith can't actually injure any human, so... That's news. Oh, you didn't know that? No. If a Faith who are, like, <laughs> enslaved to us... Oh, that's just actually, lovely. ...can't actually hurt humans of any kind. So that's, um information that I thought you guys knew, but maybe not. Um, We've been we on the sure. in the Denal for, like, the whole time. True. We've gotten pretty well acquainted with this society, but the other ones, not so much. What do you know about, like, the magic levels of this place? Uh, it seems the spellcasters are reserved for, like, the night souls, people pursuing upward mobility. Right, because I think it probably has to have some magic to be able to keep Catalina in a place. Maybe, or... Uh, I mean, we know, know that know. regular, like, anyone could technically do magic. We know humans that can do magic on this world. True. Interesting. So I would say we have to start our search someplace without metal nearby. Okay, but does anyone have any ability to sense metal or things that could help us here that might, like... <laughs> nope. That'd be... Find the obvious void of metal and go there. That would be useful, but no. Unfortunately not. Well, guess we're on can a scavenger hunt. Fae? Can I turn to the Fae and be like, hey, uh, do you guys have any way of sensing it? Oh, yes, I don't know if I've adequately described Gabriel's uh, no, no, bay either, so uh, let me flip to that. Um, 
Hans is a taller form uh, with a uh, red skin and black hair that is uh, long and in a very choppy ponytail. Wearing a blindfold around his eyes. And his uh, feet are sort of like bird feet, sort of human ones, and his hands have claws. Hello, I'm Emma. I speak out my hand, too. Okay. Pleasure. You may call me Tengu. Hello, Tengu. Uh, do you have any way of sensing where there's a lack of metal in this place, or... No. And Felix is... I don't know. Felix looks like him, but in less modern clothing. Like, they could be twins. Uh-huh. Yeah, mine's not much help for that, either. We could, like, technically... My powers could try to, like, track... Track Catalina. But, like, we said not to use our powers on each other, and I can't not be invasive with my powers if I'm trying to use them. Uh, what sort of, like... What would be tracking? How would tracking work? Like, finding her mind? Oh. Well, if we can't find her within a few days, I'd say we resort to that, but for now, let's- But is, hasn't it been a few days? A few days of actually searching. Okay. I feel like we're limiting ourselves to what we can and can't do. Let's start looking for places without metal. Yes. You know, it'd probably be underground if they were keeping her anywhere, you know? Or like in a prison. Wait, we are underground. Yeah, we're- all of us are underground. And the only place more underground is... We don't want to go back there. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I didn't even go down there, and that seemed pretty, like, bad. <laughs> bad news bears. Very, very bad. <laughs> Guys, head off in a direction, and we will shift to Matty and Aaron. Aaron is just walking, just kind of slightly uncomfortable. He's still kind of blowing a little bit, as if somebody, like, acts going to say something and quickly doesn't. Just kind of, you know, just awkwardly trying to say something, but he then he rethinks his idea and then quickly doesn't. But it's really, really obvious that he, sh- you know, he's like, if, if, <laughs> Manny is like one hundred percent trying not to giggle, but is also like, no, this is like work. T- we're doing the work thing right now. And so he'll just turn to Aaron and be like, I'll race you to, back to the, the entrance. I'll even give you a head start. What? I'll race you back to the entrance where we came in. We're retracing our steps. <laughs> sure, I, I guess. I guess a there quicker. Wow. Are you okay? No. I figured. Uh, uh, he, uh, he, uh, yeah, he just starts walking a little bit quicker. Matthias like shrugs and then like stretches his neck and his back a little bit and then just takes off in a full sprint past Aaron. Uh, uh, okay then. <laughs> Eventually, you arrive at the entrance. Um, I guess I'd like to roll investigation. I guess. 
I would also look, just look around, around Okay, the why don't you both roll me investigation checks? Okay, Dice, could you not kindly roll higher than a negative five? Thank God. Oh, that's a six. That's better. That's a one. Not so good. Seven's okay. Can I add? Can you add things? Probably. Okay, um, seven. You need three. Uh, I could summon like a light and make it look for stuff. <laughs> I don't know. You have a lot of like mental stuff that could help you with intelligently searching for things. He's smart, I guess. He'd be like, hmm, where would somebody get kidnapped? Read the tags, but apply. <laughs> I could argue that you can summon anything. I could find something that could probably be useful. And then some magnifying glass. That glows. I guess. That Double. glows. Like a light of some sort to look under things. I don't know. You summon a flashlight to help illuminate dark places, because this is underground and they don't illuminate the alleys that well. Also, you know, he's, uh, he's smart, which might help if I was getting kidnapped, where would that be? That is, that is also true. What? You need one, you need one more? Don't you, don't you have, like, your anthropology major tag? It's, it's fossils. How are they going to help us in any situation? There? Well, what but are we... the, what are your power <laughs> tags? They're not, there's something that can help in this situation. I guess we'll we're trying to make them. Trying to find. I you know. I guarantee there are some that can help you. <laughs> I don't have the picture of your power tags anymore though. So work under pressure helps, and we're trying to you know quickly. Yes, find yes, that works perfectly. I I honestly think that many of Aaron's tags are applicable in many situations. You have a great weakness in that if it's not from the Cambrian era, it's not helpful. Oh my god, yes. Aaron keeps apply. using that too, well, because he's not using his tag. Yeah, I, don't, I don't even have to apply it. <laughs> oh my god. You get it. You got to 10. You got three questions. Does it look like there was any, like, anywhere is that? Like, how long? It's been like a week. I mean, of like direct. It's been a week. There was a festival in between when she was taken and not, so the city has been clean. Where if where is a pretty good spot to kidnap somebody? Alleyways. Well, that lowers our search to not that much. I actually there are of... alleyways everywhere. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't help at all. Uh, I have a question. So I rolled an eleven, and I want to add the tag. Sleep is for the weak. Um, because I haven't slept at all, so thus my brain doesn't do that whole, we don't need these memories thing. Can Matthias, like, as he's walking through, just close his eyes and try and remember? My question is, what was the point, or like, in, in Matthias's memories, what is the point where we had a Catalina, and then there was no Catalina after that? I don't know. You legitimately don't know because you didn't talk to her for a pretty long span of time. You're caught up and you got your son back. You know she was there in the Orokar fight because she retrieved your, your uh, beer for you. Mm-hmm. You were a little caught up after that. But I'm like pretty sure we entered the city with her, right? Fairly sure she got teleported along. Okay. But the fact that you can only be fairly sure and not positive does concern you a little bit. Does Aaron recall when there was definitely lack of Catalina? I don't know why it would be different. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. You do technically have a better memory than Matthias does. So any, is there a slightly clearer image? You are almost positive that you entered the city with Catalina. Like, she made some comment about the statues, you think? Statues? Where does... Yeah, she... 
We're being like a statues. Where are statues? The two city? statues that are outside the uh, the city. Look around the statue. Anything around the statue that looks sus? Unfortunately. We're gonna leave the city and then come back and okay. Nothing sus around the statues. Should we like put up I don't wanna like should we put up missing posters and be like small reward offered? It would be a small well, we would offer a large reward. reward. I feel like I feel like she would be offended by that. Just we put, don't put have reward. anything to offer, so we'd put large reward and then we'd send him away with like a pat on the head from a kingmaker. No do re- just put reward if found. But then whoever's kidnapping Whoever kidnapped her would know we're actually looking now. They might have a ransom. Or... I say, pl- uh, I don't know. And... Ashley. Yes. I have this awesome new ability. Power over Earth. Can I use my other question of the two I have because I got rid of all of my intellectual tags? And I Getting use... progressively dumber. <laughs> and I use my awesome new ability, Power Over Earth, to sit down and do like a whole Toph Beifong moment and be like, hmm, what does, what is Earth? What is in Earth? Is there any sus pockets in the Earth? All you can see in your mind's eye is a growling dragon. Not you. I wasn't talking and about you. It's lair you as you begin to search. It's where your your powers are drawn from just the, the energy in that area. You have to sort of force yourself to look away from the shining room of gold. That you can feel. This whole place is filled with tiny underground caverns and passageways. Uh, this mountain is a catacomb. Uh, of course it is. I want to. Wa- I just want to stand up with my eyes Both closed. Both wa- above the cavern and below, and you can't sense people. You can only sense the earth. <laughs> yep. I just want to. Stand up and walk till I'm like over what I think is a cat, like a, a piece, like a bubble that connects to several bubbles. Okay, you're standing in the middle of a street. People are looking I'm, at you oddly. I'm gonna wave Aaron over. Okay, what's happening? And I'm gonna make sure he's standing close enough to me that when I make the ground disappear from beneath us, he will also fall down. What exactly are you doing? Give him what? a big hug. <laughs> yes, I will. I will hug Superman him. sweep Aaron to my side as I make what the ground disappear <laughs> and then reappear above our heads. And you drop down uh, into a pitch black cavern that is immediately illuminated by both the magnifying glass that Aaron said earlier and just you being you. And Aaron's face, who is, which is now also glowing. <laughs> Aaron, who has joined you in the status of being a glowing person. What? what? Oh, you do it too. That's cool. God, it covers my face. Don't look at it. Don't look at your face. Your no. face is acting like a flashlight right now, so you probably shouldn't cover it. It is. It's called English. We speak it. Okay, let's find your. Let's find the other person. Okay. And then Matthias will just start walking down catacombs. Okay. I'm gonna hit you with a fair warning. Yes. Because this is applicable here. Do you know when a MC chooses hit you with a fair warning? No. When you have left something alone for a large period of time. Left something My son! to the wayside, <laughs> forgotten something in the space of another. <laughs> Matthias can only fit one woman per 
person in his brain at a time. <laughs> Wait, but Jane did specifically look earlier to make sure all the young children were with somebody else. I don't remember that. Ugh, I said it, but Alyssa, maybe I, I don't know. I just abandoned Ezekiel. So, Matthias, it doesn't necessarily mean that Ezekiel is any physical danger to the rest of you, but Matthias, you come to the realization that he's not with you. I, like, I, like, pull, like, like, punch Aaron in the shoulder. Like, dude, dude, dude. Where's Ezekiel? You didn't bring him with? Why would I bring him with? We're going on a manhunt, and now we're underground. Why would I bring my son to this? And why are you afraid that he's not with us then? Because who is he with? Probably the every other person in the group. We have a very large group. He wasn't in the room when we were dividing. Oh dear lord, I can't handle this. One, oh my, oh dear lord. I hope that somebody- God, I wish we had cell phones here. It would be so easy to call Jane and be like, Hey Jane, can you just go check up on Ezekiel? Like, thanks, but I can't really do that right now. Functional humans with us is probably thought of, wait a second, there's a small tribe running around. Try keeping up. Oh, come on work, mom. Please come in clutch. All right, no, I'm leaving the tunnel. I'm going to get my son. What, they're already down here. Fine, we'll take the tunnels too near the castle where I can get my son. You want to bring him down here? No, I want to make sure he's not in the clutches of the evil people who tried to, like, fuck with my brain. Or the dragon. Uh, That also smacks Matthias in the face. What if he goes searching for the dragon? We've been giving him little dragon plushies all week. Why would he go looking for the dragon? He's my son. Oh, no. The amount of emotional feeling towards you is intense right now. Of all the I don't know what I'm uh, my brain. We're gonna let that comment hang in the air right now, because I'm freaking out, and we'll revisit it later. And I then Matthias know. takes off in a jog. Where is, are, you, are we gonna find Catalina first, or what's happening? We're going in the catacombs in the direction of the castle. Sure, there might be a dungeon by the castle. I'm actually yeah, be- uh, you do know that you will meet you with your sensors. You know what's near the castle. You know what catacomb is underneath the castle, and you know it's huge. You know to get near the castle is to get near that. We'll get like on the periphery of it, and then get the f out. <laughs> then shall we? Oh, dear lord. Matthias is already jogging. Well, dear, okay. Please don't leave me here. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm not gonna ditch another person. Yeah, let's try not to. You seem pretty bad at that. No. Aaron, yes! Yeah. Having multiple people around you at once and not losing them. You, Aaron hasn't chastised anyone yet. <laughs> I'm gonna let that comment go as well because I'm freaking out right now. And also, you brought me down here and let's go back up. What are you. <laughs> You're the one that was like, we're already down here. Which one of the Legos? We're already looking for one person to make sure they're okay first. Maybe missing the laundry. Order like. Matthias order- turns around and goes, A Fay with powers over metal versus my four year old child. Who's. A good chance in capable hands, because there's, you know, a bunch of people here. I don't know that for sure. Or what if they sure. try and do the brainwashy crap they did to me? Because no one's going to kick the crap out of my kid to set them straight. It's order, like, you have a person who's on for a week, pretty sure is in danger versus a person who might be in danger. But it's a good chance that you're not, or is very well protected by a bunch of people who all have magical powers. I really appreciate the logic, but I hope you know that the whole father brain thing isn't very logical. 
again, just... It, I mean, if you want to stay down here and keep looking... No. Like, no, I'll no. pop up. Like, yeah, that's what I thought. Matthias would like to just blitz it back to Ezekiel. Okay. There's no one around the castle area. You don't have a magical sense your sun up button. I'll just like I'll just shout like, hey but Ezekiel, you wanna make some ice cream cookie cake with me? Looks like he's not around the castle. Matthias is running around frantically. And like looking for people he knows. Cool. We shift perspective to Jane, Autumn, and Nina. I did I, I did mention I looked for Yes. Some, uh, and that's fine. Matthias didn't look after his son though, so that's his problem. <laughs> okay. Do I know where Ezekiel is? You do, but you don't you're not really prioritizing or thinking about it right now, so we're not gonna say. Okay. He's probably fine. Um, he's not by the dragon, though. Last I checked. He's probably fine. You don't even know about that panic over there. You're looking for the, the, uh, scry stone right now. The scrying stone. Uh, so, are we... We're still in the castle, right? Are we gonna ask the Orokar, you guys? Or are we gonna just avoid that at all costs? Do we want them to know that... No. We've... <laughs> messed up a lot? Okay. I mean, Knox would be really helpful, but he has stuff to do, and he's probably not even here anymore. Uh, so I'm trying to think of who we could ask. If all else fails, they'll ma- uh, Nina will say, there are definitely magic shops in the city. We could just go and barter. You know what? That sounds like the best option, actually. Yeah, besides, between the three of us, we could probably get it through three. Yeah. I, ha- I have to agree with you there. <laughs> I'm okay with some modest thievery here. <sighs> Gotta find Catalina, so... None of us know how the scrying stone even works, though. So, presuming nope. we find it... Yeah, maybe we can ask them for, like, a tutorial. <laughs> that yeah. That yeah, that would be... Like, how does this work? We've never used one before. Please explain it. Is there an instruction manual? Okay, so what act are we gonna go for? Oh, God. I don't think Dumb Girl Shopper will work as well as it did back on Earth. Yeah, I got that feeling, too. Should we go in as Kingmakers, or should we go in, like, Dusk? Right, you have that disguise circlet. Yep. We could literally go in as anyone. I know, right? Tempting. Go in as Maddie. Go in as the Oracar Queen. <laughs> that would be so awful, but that would be hilarious. We'll plan and walk. We got a ways to get to the nearest shop anyway. Nina, um, do you know where it is? I vaguely know where the shops are in the city. I've gone shopping a couple times. They would know my face and such. So you might just go as you. Yeah, I might just go as me and say, Hello, do I have in-store credit yet? (laughs) Probably. Do we have like a Kingmaker's buy one, get one free? (laughs) I I bought one already. Yeah, I I don't have a receipt, but like, you know it's true. (laughs) Kingmaker discount, I don't know. Come on, would this face lie to you? <laughs> uh, Anita, Autumn, and Jane walk off to go scam some poor store clerk. Cause Doing... we're broke. <laughs> yep. Maddie, roll me a d6 and tell me if you get even or odd. Even! 
Okay. Good to know. I don't like that. Neither do I! You looked like sad, which is not a good sign. <laughs> Is this the episode where we lose Ezekiel? It's been a long time coming, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I've already been kidnapped once. We do a quick flash through the city. We see each of the groups searching. Uh, Ezekiel is with one of them. Hazel's, in particular. Uh, but Matthias, as you run and you catch up with Hazel's group and you're like, oh, thank God, because they didn't, they're not moving very quickly, mainly because they're traveling with a small child <laughs> and they're kind of just perusing. As they're the asking around group. <laughs> uh, you meet up with him uh, and you're like, hug him, or, he's safe, panic attack, averted. Something tugs at your gut. And it snaps. I am going to make something horrible happen. As you feel a pulling one final time as if finally reaching back and pulling hard on that link and then it frays, and then it's gone. I'm wearing eye makeup. This isn't fair. Matthias will just, like, sit down. The world seems to go in slow motion. Everyone else is still acting normally. They don't know anything has changed, anything is wrong. And then Matthias starts to cry. And Hazel looks over, uh, a, a little freaked out, and Ezekiel looks a little freaked out too, but so she sort of moves, maneuvers Ezekiel, distracts him. Aaron, what are you doing? Um, uh, um, Trying to do, um... You're still in the that? Right? I'm very confused on what's happening. I'm attempting to fix it if possible. Your face is broken! It's sprung a leak! I'm just, he's just like, what are yeah, you... Yeah, you, you see, you helped Matthias search for Ezekiel. Matthias found Ezekiel. And then you watch as Matthias' face went blank, and he sat down Ezekiel and then sat on the floor and just started to cry. Comfort him. Don't. Aaron doesn't know what to do. He's just standing over here. <laughs> like, what is happening? He could have saved her. I'm mad. <laughs> Fuck him. Yeah. He was in the catacombs. Oh, no, He was nice. in the catacombs, but he left to go save Ezekiel. Are you. Oh, what's hap? What's. Uh...
Hazel uh, will then turn to you and Tyus, what's wrong? Yeah, I would like to know that too. I'm very confused and uncomfortable what's happening. I think she's dead. Uh, what? Uh, it, like... It's not there anymore. It just... snapped. Okay. Uh, Hazel turns and says something to Lucille, and Lucille picks up Ezekiel and, like, moves him away. Aaron, Matthias, go back to the castle. I'll find everyone else. We'll meet back up. Uh, uh, all right. And we'll talk about this as a group. Uh, and she'll look at you, Aaron, and uh, look you in the eyes. Go. Keep an eye on him. All right. She turns. Walks away. Uh, I'd say Hazel finds Emma's group first. Just as I'm about to tell, um, what's his name again? Felix? Felix to actually, you know what? It's about time we use the tracker. Just as she walks in. Uh, Hazel looks very stern-faced, which she usually does, but just something in her posture, in her eyes, says something. She walks up to you and waits till she's close. The connection that Matthias felt to Catalina is gone. Oh. He thinks that she died. Uh, Felix will try to go, no, she can't, she saved my life, she can't be dead! Is there any possible way that she's not, like... I don't know enough about fan magic, but we definitely shouldn't be giving up. I think we regroup and find a different strategy. We at least need to find her alive or dead. We're not going to leave her rotting in some prison. Absolutely not. Besides, my powers aren't miraculous, but between me and Jane, we might be able to do something. Exactly. And I know Nina has some ability to heal as well. Exactly. We could actually not So we need to work, we need to A, work faster, but we're going to re- regroup and maybe uh, use the full extent of our abilities here. Yes. All right. And then start running. Yeah. A certain amount of time you have. Uh, Jane, I uh, just... yes. Have we already gotten it? Yeah, you're walking out of the store. You're like, yeah, we did it. You're like happy and like we totally conned a man. And then we got the. Did we get the instructions too? Yeah, you. Adam has an ins- ins- instruction manual and is like parsing through the old English. Jane is, like, holding it, like, waiting as, as Autumn is feeding her the instructions. Says Hazel, uh, turns a corner and walks up to you guys. Jane, scrying stone in hand. What's up, Hazel? Any luck? Fortunately, no. Matthias says the connection he felt to Catalina broke. What? It's under the assumption that she died. We're going to regroup back at the castle and think of a different plan. More aggressive searching, perhaps. Well, we have to try this, um, still. Let's hope It's a good idea. Eventually, you all regroup in the castle's courtyard. Stonily, somber, 
faces all I around you. Over and hugs I look kind of yeah. angry. Jane looks a little angry too. Aaron's standing here probably for the first time, like trying very hard not just to yell something very angrily at Tyus. Kind of clenched his fist a little bit. Ryan's the only one that's hugging him, apparently. <laughs> Matthias accepts really happily because everyone's blaming Matthias and Matthias is blaming himself. Jane is focused on figuring out how this crying stone works um, more than anything else. So. Yeah, you're, you focus on reading the instructions. It seems pretty self-explanatory. Channel magic into it. Say the name. Picture the person. Uh, you have a... Uh, like a, basically like a character limit each time you cast it. Because you got the cheaper one. It was easier <laughs> to uh, s- swindle the cheaper one. <laughs> cheaper one. <laughs> the so more like, expensive one didn't have a character limit, but this one has like a 25 word. Catalina. Mm. Buff Tiger Fay. <laughs> Metal Yeet. Very good. Where is you? Where is you? Find her dead or alive. Who is who is holding you? It's the scrying stone is just like the sending spell, right? Yep. Like oh, how does so it a, work? So it's a messaging spell, not a So yeah, it's, it's like a mess it's like the her. message. So you need to twenty five you can say twenty five words to her. And then I'm pretty sure she can respond in 25 words. I wonder, where where would that have... Hmm, those Catalina. rules don't sound familiar at I, all. It's almost like I've been listening to a D&D campaign where sending is very prevalent or something. Oh, I was just doing... Oh, you mean like Critical finger. Role Season 2? <laughs> almost, yeah. What? No. Does where one of the weapon words have... Okay. No, the, you think of the person, you say their name out loud so they okay. can, and can connect to them. I thought I was describing them so I could see what was going on. No. I clarify. That's not how it is, but I understand Catalina, the confusion. Where are you? Heard the bond broke. Are you okay? Are you okay? We are sorry. Okay. Nothing. Who is holding you? Oh. Who is holding you? Stay alive. Please. That's all I can say. I don't have any more. You have three more words. Oh, I do? Mm-hmm. Stay alive. Please, thank you. Please and thank you. Just please thank With you. With no space. <laughs> please and thank you as one word. Jane. The stone lights up for a brief second before dulling. Seems uh, an error of some point, some form, according to the instructions. Okay. Either she's she reads. Does it if it if they're dead? Does it work? It's <laughs> not. It doesn't. Okay, so she's either dead or her full name doesn't work. Can I do this multiple times? Yes. Uh, it has a limit per day. It has a limit of five. Emma, 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 Emma. What? Can you be Athena for a sec? Why? This is important. It will determine Why? whether or not she's dead for sure. Athena switches places. You wanted something. A message. Yeah. Uh, can you just tell me if you can hear this? I'm just gonna think of Athena. Hi, Athena. I really hope you can hear this. Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Hello. Testing, testing. One, two. One, two. No, can I really I hear hope, this. No, I really hope you cannot hear this. Testing, testing. One, two. If you can hear this, Catalina is probably dead. Fuck. Jane. <laughs> uh, she doesn't react. She doesn't react in any way. Did Did you hear anything just now? 
Does it go out? Or does it not go out? Nothing. No, I did see your insistent hand gesturing. But it, she switches it, places with Athena. Switches places with uh, Emma before you can ask her any more questions. Okay, so Catalina might not be dead still. There is a chance because okay, Athena- the catacombs is our best bet. Then the catacombs. There's catacombs. There's catacombs everywhere. I'm gonna turn to Ryan. Ryan, we're pretty fast. Do you wanna go search the catacombs with me? We can blitz sure. it. You guys have a section. We'll each have a section. Maybe you guys have a bigger section because you're faster. But can you guys get to the catacombs? Can you get to the catacombs? Yes. Sounds like we were there early. Can you get us to the catacombs? I can try. Let's go to where there are catacombs. Come on. Get torches and stuff. We were there earlier. And get torches. Hey, Aaron. Can you disperse glowing things? (laughs) Disperse glow. Flashlights versus flashlights glow themselves without even being turned on. Uh, those things. Does Aaron disperse glowing things? Yes. Yes. Oh, perfect. Maybe I'm gonna pocket that pocket stone. Pocket the catacombs. What now? Okay, you all spread out in the catacombs underground as Matthias opens an entrance, searching desperately through each winding corridor, hoping to find anything that could point you toward your lost friend. You look for bent metal. Something out of the ordinary. Do you all split up and sit for our own little section by ourselves? I would imagine, yeah. Alone. Well, in partners. You race through dirt-covered catacombs. Does anyone want to roll me an investigation check? Yes, Yes, everybody. Oh, that went off my desk. I'm using the big boys for this one. Don't hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. Uh, For listeners, uh, Juno pulled out giant D6s. A uh, ten? Yes. Uh, would you like to add tags to make have more questions, or do you just want one? Now, the more the merrier. Um, let me go back to all mine. Um, how? Wait, how does like the reuse thing work? Can I? Like- uh, if your last roll was investigation, you can't reuse the same tags. But none right. of us have really made an, a roll yet. I think. Oh, uh, I made Matthias and. Aaron rolled for investigation earlier. Break. And yeah, so Ryan gets world. a 10 as well. I, I guess I'll keep with the one. But I cannot think. Ryan would like to add determined. Um, surprisingly fast. And yeah, that's it. Okay, Wait, two so questions. What, would adding one help at all? Yeah, you'd get yeah, two. Yeah, I'd give you another question. Okay, um, would protect allies and friends work in this? Because I'm trying Absolutely. to- Absolutely. Yeah, you defensive esque things. Aaron's good at that. Okay. Um, Emma, how many do you add? Yeah. I rolled a seven. I would like to add owl senses, uh, will to protect, and fey knowledge because we're looking for a fey. Okay. Yep. All good. I rolled a nine, and I want to add power over earth, and. Uh, I believe you added that to your last investigation I did. checks. Uh, no, actually, I didn't add it, but I used it. So, so we'll say that I added that one. That's fine. So I have a nine. I need to add one more. Um, can I also do track and field because we're covering a lot of ground fairly quickly? Absolutely. I let Ryan okay. use super speed. I'll let you use track and field. Awesome sauce. Uh-huh. I have two. Jane. Okay, I got a six. I'm adding a lot. I managed to close my thing, but, um... I know I can add, um, the right questions. Discretion is advised. Creative. And studious. 
Okay, got a 10, that's four questions. Um, what question, we'll start at the top. Uh, Aaron, what are your questions? You have two. Oh, um, I don't think the brain gets where it is. <laughs> that wouldn't work. Um, any signs that there's someone would a drug a person down here or any sign of activity? Yes. There are signs of activity down here. Old footsteps. Uh, How old? Not that old, because they wouldn't stay down here for that for that long. One but, day a week. Uh, a day or older. Not uh, older than a month. Wait, that's also that's slightly less crap. Wait, this might actually be helpful. Um, what's the second question? How many, like, does it look like one person, multiple people, how many people? It looks like, like a group. Multiple okay. different sets of footsteps, a couple of the same coming down here multiple times. Okay, I'm gonna go look that way. Okay. Very quickly. You follow after those footsteps. Ryan. Who's, who's... Yes. What are your two questions? Do I see any claw marks? You see uh, scratches every so often in the dirt walls that perhaps could have been claw or finger marks. I have like this gut feeling that Catalina is still alive. Would you describe Brian as an optimistic or pessimistic person? Optimistic. He's a golden retriever. <laughs> okay. Uh, then you have some hope. If she's not alive, you know a lot of healers. You brought Felix back from the dead, hopefully. You could do the same for her. Ryan is going to go off in the direction of where he needs to walk. Claws. Nice. Emma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to look for, um, with my owl senses, listen for any, like, odd noises other than, you know, my other people. Um, look for any odd things on the walls, on the floor. There are odd indentations on the, the catacombs that would imply that they are not made the usual way that caves are formed. Maybe for handmade. Perhaps, perhaps not handmade. Magic but made. there is something uh, unnatural involved in the creation of this. These catacombs. <gasps> no! Worm. Giant worm. That's worm not what I was thinking, that. but. <laughs> are all the caves the same size? Or are all the catacombs the same size? Just about. keep a listen for anything unusual, like the sound of a worm. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you keep your ear out. I won't let you know if you hear anything. Matthias. Uh, do I see any footprints or anything like of that manner? Uh, you can see the same thing that Aaron saw. Uh, can I follow them? Yeah, you end up going the same way Aaron does. Wait, is Ryan going a different way than they are? Yes. Oh. Okay. Matthias is gonna like, like pause and be like, "Where are you going?" There's claw marks. So I'm going that way with the claws. Matthias is gonna look utterly defeated and be like, what if I fuck up again? Like, he's gonna be like, 
<laughs> He's gonna turn to Ryan and Aaron and be like, "Who am I supposed? Who do I need to go with?" <laughs> it's a, it's like a Twilight love triangle. <laughs> <laughs> tall, bright, and handsome, or a tall, winged, and handsome? One of you sparkles. Tall, winged, and taken, sorry. I think all of us sparkle. <laughs> the one also has a girlfriend who he loves oh. very much. <laughs> there is a deeply committed romantic relationship that is very stable. Yes. <laughs> we don't need to break that up. Not really a Twilight love triangle. Twilight love. It's boy. more of a potential. It's a, a platonic. A platonic. Except in one direction, but. <laughs> yeah, so like the, the connecting branches coming from. Anyway. From yeah. One direction. Duh. All directions. No directions. What do you do, Matthias? Matthias is literally like asking them, like, which direction should I go? It's your decision, my dude. I'm where's going. your gut? Where's your gut tugging at the strings at? Yes, because my gut decisions have ended up so well in the past. Where's your heart tugging at? The claw marks. Fuck it. I'm going with Ryan. Okay, you head off that direction. Aaron heads off by himself. Jane. I'm gonna close my eyes and try to sense any emotions with my powers. You're opening up to all the emotions around you. Yes. That's gonna be devastating. Yeah, you just, you feel sadness and depression. Yep. I'm so so sorry. How many people are in this group? And then Matthias. (laughs) Crying. Crippling guilt. Crying but still pushing onwards. You describe Aaron as as everything mixed, mixed together. This sort of determination. Your group's been very chaotic, very unfocused. Even when in the rescuing of Ezekiel, you had different plans, you had different ideas, you went different ways. You're all down here. You're all searching. You're all working together here. Because underneath the grief and the emotion, there is this sense of guilt and determination that laces through it all. You stretch out your senses, you're searching outside of their emotions, you feel the giant behind you, the anger, the roar of the dragon near you. It's not in the room, but it is in its lair nearby. Ignore that, keep going. You push past even that. You search for any sparks of familiarity, any darker emotions tied to death and destruction, anything that would stand out to you. And you find nothing. Which says almost more than finding something would. Nothing malicious either. Other than the dragon. Other than the dragon. Praise that when we get there, we can still do something. What are your other questions? Do you use them? Yeah. Like, kneels in defeat, but gets back up again. You've been watching too much anime. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I'm just gonna flip a coin, and whichever direction. Uh, that's the one I'll go. Okay, so are you banking your clues? Or do you have more questions? What have the- they haven't- is there anything else that other people may have missed? You double back, you take your time a little slower. You eye the claw marks, you eye the footprints with a little more careful of an eye. Uh, perhaps gaining a bit more information about how these footprints were 
made. I don't know where Kate was here. Some of them are made by workers' boots, which is presumably what these tunnels are probably for, like purpose-wise, mining and traveling for workers. But there are some that stand out from the others. They press heavier into the dirt, like they were made from someone wearing metal boots or steel, perhaps armor. Okay. And they have a specialized indentation in the heel. Which looks like? A triangle with a circle inside of it. And I do not recognize that, but I am going to draw it in my sketchbook and remember it. And I'm going to follow those footprints. Okay, so you end up going the same way as Aaron. You all head off into your different catacombs. You search... You search Matthias and Aaron. Eventually, uh, the path you follow leads up. Uh, Looks like you are following the entrance way to the catacombs. Uh, It comes out outside of the town, facing uh, the forest. A frozen wasteland covered in ice. A jungle just beyond it. A very stark scene change. Jane would have been like, Hazel, Nina, go the other way. And, uh, Jane and Aaron, you guys follow the footprints. As you walk... I go along with that. Emma, Mm -hmm. Jane, and Aaron, uh, as you follow the footprints, um... Are you still, like, reading the emotions of everything as of right now, or is that already worn off? Probably... Are you keep, keeping that up or wearing yeah. off? You're I keeping keep it up? It okay. Uh, if you, any of you feel certain things that Jane would like to know, feel free Literally to Literally every them. emotion mixed together at once is what Aaron's feeling right now, effectively. Jane is prioritizing finding Catalina over... You and right You uh, are following these specific footprints, so they stop and they turn to a solid wall. Does anybody have a way to Does it look like they go through? Or like... Can I reach out and touch the wall? It's a wall. You touch it. Is there a way to get through this wall? As a question. You could try to brute force it if any of you had such ways. Like looking for a little lever or a button or a stone or whatever. Oh, with a a clever way to get through it instead of root forcing. (laughs) Uh, You would presume that the way this person got through it was perhaps using some sort of magic. I shall use a pickaxe and whack at the wall until it gives. The the wall is dirt. Shovel. (laughs) Minecraft logic. Uh, Minecraft logic. Any tool really at this point. Uh... And I imagine you pass them out to Emma and Jane, and you all yeah. Are we, uh, sure <laughs> dig into this wall together, uh, making the work that much faster. It eventually crumbles, and you get to the other side of it, which opens up to this big enclosed room. Oh. Are the boot marks still there? Yes, they continue on. Look around the room. Is there anything? The room has a tables, some chairs, some scattered things about. Looks like someone was playing a game of cards on the table. I steal the cards. Uh, You shuffle the cards uh, into your hands. Uh, These cards, you would notice looking at them, they're marked, so they're a cheater's deck. Okay, um, there's no, like, papers on the table or anything, right? Nope, just an abandoned game of cards, table in one corner. Is there an exit out of the And in the other, an empty wooden cage. Goes over to the cage. 
There are marks uh, in it, as if someone was clawing at the wood uh, bars and floor. There's no nothing in it. There's nothing in it. Do these look, say, a week old? Um, it's hard to ascertain. Uh, thereabouts, they don't look that old. Grabs, I'm gonna grab it, and I'm gonna follow the footsteps. And the footsteps seem to come in and then come out, like they... And these, the exact same entrance, they enter them? Yep. Looks like there's only one entrance or exit from the footprints. All right. But where do they you leave? Follow them back. You follow them back, uh, and it looks like they uh, probably came and left a like public mine entrance to the catacombs. But they wouldn't have taken Catalina. Are there any miners? I'm still in on the upper sections. There are, but uh, not in these these catacombs right now. I don't sense anything new now that I'm deeper in. Right? I haven't left. Nope. I'm gonna look around for any clues of where Catalina might have been taken, because the cage is still here. The cage is still here. And there is no sign of Catalina or anyone else. But you would note, carved onto the outside of the cage, a very purposely, very cleanly, probably with a tool of some sort, is the same symbol that you saw uh, indented into the bottom of the heel of the boot you've been tracing. A triangle with a circle. Do I sense any magic? Uh, it does seem like the cage has been charmed or enchanted. Probably okay. reinforced. There's that same symbol again. Do you think we should ask some people who live here maybe what that symbol is? I thought you left though. I haven't left the room yet. Oh. You should you follow the footprints the out. Yeah. The cage is still here. They couldn't have taken her very far unless they, I mean. Is there any res residue? Do, but I'm following the Aaron, are you, you haven't used oh your questions and stuff yes. yet? Yes. He has. Oh, he has. Should I roll investigation again to get more questions or can I just add more tags? So. I don't know. There's no residual magic in this room, is there? No, and it's not really your specialty to track such things, anyway. Gotta find her body. So, uh, Matthias and Ryan, you come out on this forest area. Do we see any tracks? Yeah, it's all like ice and snow, right? Yeah, nothing recent. Anything old? Snow descents. All right. Maddie, hop on my back. We're going to drone this place. Sure. Okay. Ryan goes up. Ryan gives Matthias a flying piggyback ride. Yeah. Where are you going? Up to try to get a clearer view so if we see anything. You fly up into the air, getting a clearer view of the mountain than you have before, of the raised island that houses the jungle, of the lower one that has this dark evergreen forest and that surrounds these mountain ranges. And you turn back uh, at some point, not really finding anything of interest within the forests and the jungle towards the, the city proper, where you can view the mountain uh, for what it is. 
Do you try to go back into the catacombs the way you were? Or what are you doing? Your call, my man. So there's just a shit ton of like ice and snow? Ice, snow, and forests until it gets to the jungle area. There's a decent flight away. Where's Felix? Is Felix with our group? What did you say? Or the other group? I don't know if you all split up evenly. There were more than two catacomb entrances and paths. Like, this place is a maze, so a bunch of people went down a bunch of different ways. I want to know how much... I don't see any recent evidence, right? That they just took her. I'm assuming as a guardian, yeah. Um, like the there, the room is kind of warmish. The, but it's not like dry air in here. Like it, it's not like this place has been sealed off for a while. There has been fresh air, like air moved in from the catacombs here recently. Okay. The cards. Are they were they warm to the touch? Why would cards be warm? If someone was someone holding with sweaty them, palms? Like, yeah, if someone's holding them playing uh, a game. There, like a there isn't sometimes. one of the clues would probably there is there's not a lot of dust around the table or the uh cage or anything like that. So this is like a day or two. This isn't like a week. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm gonna shift back because I don't think I got my question answered. Maddie, Mata- Maddie, Ryan, where are you flying? Where's your gut going? Or heart? Where? Where's your heart going, my dude? It's the dumbest question to ask me right now. I say we keep looking out here. Ryan will investigation to get a closer look. Absolutely. Remember, you can't use any of the tags you used previously. Yep. Um, huh. So, Ryan got a... Come on, Wi-Fi. An, an eight. Can you add two to that? Yes, I can. What tags? Um, surprisingly fast. Um, golden wings. Okay, you only need two. Okay. You fly around for a while. Uh, what are your questions? Do I see any Please. Not around this forest area, but you do a uh, coat of a periphery circle around the outskirts of this hole. You start to extend the area you're covering until you eventually be- get back to the entrance where the two statues and the teleportation circle is. And there seems to be some sort of commotion. Ryan's gonna go check that commotion out. You fly closer. Mm-hmm. Uh, there seems to be uh, a team of knights. It looks like they're uh, cordoning off an area around the on the teleportation circle. Then looks like they're cordoning off the teleportation circle itself. Uh, from an aerial view, uh, you can see why there's a body in the teleportation circle. Matthias yeets himself off of Ryan's back. Ryan's racing down there. And just... Yeah, as you get closer, the horrifying realization of your worst fears comes to reality. A bloodied, limp Catalina lies in the center of the circle Hands crossed one over the other. 
eyes closed, but throat slit. Matthias like sprints over to her, and then I would like to roll a change the game. What would you like to do here? I would like to yeet open a tunnel to all of the healers. <laughs> okay. Ow. Why don't you roll me oh, a change oh, oh. the game? Don't hurt yourself in your grief. I just <laughs> crushed my finger with my book. Oh, I am shaking. I'm so sad. Can't even flip to the page I need because I'm shaking. If you need the change the game stuff, I can read it. It hasn't been super it. long. There's still a chance we can do this. While Matthias is racing over, Brian's going to dash over a bit quicker to try to block the knights away from Catalina. Uh, they look a little affronted at first, but then they recognize you from the, the King Kingmaker parade. Uh, and they back off a little bit. Okay, so that's I rolled a 10. That power over the earth change the ground density. Or I don't need to... It's plus power. So power over the earth change the ground density. So 12. And then I want to... And then that would be create a story tag and then scale up. Yes, you get uh, four event. juice because you got a 10. So you And then you added two. So that's four. So four juice. Mm-hmm. You get to spend so the effects a, one to one. So create a story tag. Scale up, so scale up the effect, and then can I start, can I use my other two juice to start doing CPR on her? On her with a slit neck? No, 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 no. <laughs> Matthias, Matthias would know what to do. He is in nursing school to start doing first aid. I okay. oh. Stop the bleeding. Stop the bleeding on the neck. Uh, she is dead. There is not currently bleeding. It is coagulated. There's not a lot of ever seen Ryan. Medical, medical attention that you can give to a deceased person. Uh, besides, of course, uh, technology that you just simply don't have access to. I have this tag, but it only applies to him. Powers long forgotten. Can I add powers long forgotten? And use gift of immortality to assist another person. It's not supposed to be used that way, which is why powers long forgotten works. Absolutely. Uh, whatever healer wants to make that roll, because eventually uh, the tunnel does open up. And whether it is fate, destiny, or absurd luck... Uh, Hazel and Nina probably arrive first because Jane is a little farther away. But eventually, just one by one, everyone gets here. Is this a change the game roll? Uh, that would be how you heal, so yes. Yep. However, uh, this is a dead person. Even your mm -hmm. powers, as we've discussed, cannot bring back the dead. Thank but there is, of course, a way to say, stop holding back Please. and attempt. Matthias, you fucking owe me. <laughs> <laughs> And Matthias whips around and goes, don't you think I already know that? Just help <laughs> her. Guys, can we not yell across a dead body? What, what, what level is this? I am debating between no return or ultimate. Mm -hmm. No return. No return. <laughs> I want to see Hera. Stop that! <laughs> no. That would no. be ultimate. Hera would, mm, would never I'm give good. Jane's body back. No, no, she wouldn't. She not? I, can you, like, move your camera so we can see your dice? That would be ultra dramatic for this visual media, audio, audio medium. Oh, God. 
That makes me so nervous. That's weird. Uh, hold up. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cry. I don't have two these. Yeah. I love the, I the 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 yes. D ones. Wait, which one is it? You didn't give me an answer. What is the consensus? Oh, I'm good with women and children, and I know she's a woman, so... <laughs> Luckily, it tells me what I'm supposed to do in the MC guide. Like, if we had a vote, it'd be no return. Um, <laughs> Obviously. Well, I won't be able to heal anymore then, right? I don't know. I either become an avatar or I can't heal people anymore. That, if you that's... fail... <laughs> yeah. You're assuming you fail. <laughs> yes. on a, yeah, so for no return on a 10 plus, you would fade, crack, and burn all of the power tags on one theme. Yeah. So you would that's fill in all of your all your fade and you would burn all of your power tags. Oh boy. I would give all my this for another music. Hmm. Where is stop holding back in the rule book? I haven't stopped rolling this ice in my hand. <laughs> Why don't you roll and I'll tell you what happens. What? Three. Okay. This isn't gonna go well, I already know. Oh, oh my god. Nine plus two, eleven. <sighs> Replace one of your themes. Does it have to be the healing one? Yep, one you're using. God, I don't know which one but to get rid of. Jane, you run forward. You say the snippy thing to Matthias. <laughs> He responds equally as snippy. And then you take every bit of healing power you have, every single ounce of it. The magic leaves you. It goes into Catalina, and for a moment, everyone is blinded by this light and this ethereal sense of calm washes over everyone. This sense of success as the light fades. <coughs> and Catalina sits up. Jane hugs her. And she hugs you back. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. would notice that the her item and the connection, Matthias, is gone still. Mm -hmm. it, it didn't come back. She's free. She's free. Matthias like lurches and then goes, more importantly, you're alive alive. And she starts crying. You're free. That's... This is the best, worst thing to ever happen. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but 
But that means you're free to kick the shit out of me if you feel so <laughs> inclined. Out of all of us. Don't tempt me! <laughs> it was an invitation. We just revived one dead body. I don't think we need to revive seven others. Yeah, you pansy. You think I couldn't punch the shit out of here? <laughs> no, I think you absolutely could. Uh, and she hugs you again, Jane. Hugs. Um, <sighs> there is still a scar around her throat. Where the cut once was. But she's alive. Are the knights still around? Yeah, they're look. they're like, what the- They're looking on in awe at this godly display of power. I'm just gonna go up to one. And become the scariest motherfucker you ever seen. Backs away slowly. No, nope, he grabs him by the collar. Who the fuck did this? We don't know. We just found the body and we're cordoning it off for investigation. Brian looks at um, Jane and Emma. We have I'm. I head over there at least. I'm gonna stay here, but I think you guys should find whoever's responsible. I I think Catalina needs Wait, at least I some of us. Wait, I know about the dude, right? Yeah. I, I, I I'll hold up my notebook. Feet. Yeah. Here, here, Emma, take this. Yeah, I, I know the symbol. Show me the yeah. bottom of your feet. I say this to the guard. Uh, they do so very scared. <laughs> very Is there a symbol? No. <laughs> These are, okay, show... like, standard issue. I show him the symbol. What does the symbol mean? Do you know? Uh, that's the symbol of the rebellion. Rebellion? Uh, yeah, they ghost stories, though. They don't really... real. <laughs> they don't really real? Do you really English? They exist. Backs away more scared? <laughs> Is it called English here? That's a, that's a real good question. Common! The language we're speaking! Okay. They do exist, and they're the ones who are holding her. Actually, I suggest this is a rebellion. I know her killer what they look like. Just saying. We know they have the symbol thing. on the feet. We don't know what the killers, but we know that those were the only- were they the only footsteps that walked into that room? Yeah. Yeah. Into that room, but it was into like that a- that room. Yeah. Right. They exist. And they were definitely- Well, there were- the there were other footsteps in that room, but the only one with the symbol on the bottom, there was only one set of footprints. Oh, one and how does it with the symbol? Like, how does it make you feel? You're like a protector of this city, right? You think you you feel that you're in a position of power to help these people, correct? Back is that more. is that how you feel? How does it make you feel that literally this was literally going on right under your nose, like like not figuratively, oh ha ha, under your nose, literally right under you. Matthias. No, nope, don't stop him. No, Hazel seriously. looks over. If Jane doesn't stop them, I'm gonna stop them. And if you think that's right to keep doing this to people who clearly doesn't know what's going on, what am I saying? You're all teenagers, basically. Stop that, <laughs> Matthias. Stop that random dude's fault, okay? Matthias steps back, I know you're mad. Like go, pet, go punch a rock or something. How is that gonna help anything? Pent up rage. Have you never punched something when you were mad? I try not to, cause I break stuff. Well, guess what? There's plenty of nature that you can go break here. Matthias stomps away like a toddler. Oh dear lord. Catalina, I know this is soon, but I think you have more knowledge than any of us right now. I honestly don't know how much more I can like give you. They people who mugged me. I didn't see their faces very well. 
because it was dark and like I was a bit distracted. And then okay. in the cage, they wore these mask things. Mm -hmm. One of them, all the rest were like faceless, featureless, were clearly meant to just hide identity, but one of them was like stylized, right? He have that symbol. It was uh, it was on everything. Oh. Uh, it was made mass. Looked like it was made of gold, but it wasn't metal. I couldn't control it. Or I would have made him choke on it. Fake gold. No amount of apologies it's can make up metal. For Make up uh, for the and time. for your question, Jane, uh, you replace a Mythos card with a Logos card. Okay. But and if it, you really um, don't want to get rid of it, you can just pick the one you want to get rid of the most. And you think okay. makes the most sense thematically. I think gold's and metal. I don't know what I would... I don't know what would... You can, to you can take, some, take some time to think about it. Uh, because... As this happens, as you rejoice, you regroup, you pull away. To perhaps earlier in the day, when Catalina lays out bleeding out dying. It is a slim cut and a slow death. Her memory is, mind is pulled away and she begins to reminisce as the world moved like mush around her. What do you think, Dressa? A younger Catalina had said, doing a twirl in her new armor for her other half. Dear Dressa was a petite figure with cream-colored hair and deep brown skin, freckles glowing in, in it like stars. Back then she had smiled smallly and nodded her approval in that shy yet emphatic way that only Drissa could pull off. Looks great, Cap. You'll be a warrior to be fit. Looking back on it with what she knew now, Deirdressa had probably just been humoring her, trying not to draw attention or wrath, rather than honestly complimenting her. Looking back on it, Drissa didn't seem to have a lot of honesty in her. Catalina pressed her head back. What did it say about her that her equal, her opposite, had been a traitorous rat? They were supposed to compliment each other to be partners until they had to dance the dance of death. But now Catalina was enslaved and alone and dying, and Adrissa was dead with no ritual. Soon she would join her. Neither would be reborn or reused, and neither would ever be whole. Thinking of Drissa, even in small moments, always left her with this empty feeling. Thinking about a lot of things in the past felt that way hollow with this deep echo of anger and loss. She remembered another conversation between her and Drissa, this one even fainter in her memories. They were dancing in some festival or another, living and loved as they, and loud as they stamped feet to the melody and shouted along to the chorus and laughter. One of the children was presiding over the whole thing as usual. It had probably been Vixala, child of illusions, considering the party's raucousness. Are you excited? Drissid asked. For? The games! Catalina had laughed. I don't think I'll be throwing this year. Why's that? Drissa asked, twirling her, eyes shining with something akin to disappointment. We've got something better to do. She had quirked an eyebrow. The capitals holding recruitment for the guard. And you want to... Catalina had nodded furiously. We're going to apply. That conversation had probably started things going wrong. She had signed them up without thinking, 
without asking, shifting an entire course of their lives without a second thought. And now she was almost gone. What a mess. And with that, episode 35 of Kingmaker's Run comes to a close. I've been your MC, and we will see you all next time.